वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू माय चैनल नॉलेज अप लेट्स लर्न टुगेदर इन टुडेस टॉपिक वी विल डिस्कस फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ टेस्ट्स फॉर डिफरेंट मटेरियल्स नाउ वी सी वन बाय वन फर्स्ट इज सॉइल it is core cutter test for core cutter test frequency at every 100 meter square compact area for small film planning or at every 500 mq compacted area for mass filling work remember that this is the area mentioned that is frequency is based on area mentioned so core cutter test is taken at every 100 meter square of compacted area for small print print and at every 500 mq for mass or larger filling work standard proof standard proof to is taken for each and every source of earth whenever we procure earth from different sources every time we have to take that standard proof test this is as per relevant as code is 2720 coarse aggregate or fine aggregates for coarse aggregate or fine aggregates specific gravity specific gravity is as whenever we change the source source of material we drop material from different sources then we have to do that specific gravity test this is as per is 2386 part 3 1963 bulking of sand bulking of sand is mainly then in monsoon or rainy seasons when concreting is done by volumetric batching volumetric batching mixer or other things this test is very important it is performed daily and necessary bulking of sand or bulking of uh, correctly applied for water content to be verified so bulking of sand is done in monsoon and rainy season in each and every concreting done this is as per is 2386 part 3 1963 now we will check dry or loose bulk density this test is done as and when required this is as per is 2386 part 3 1963 silt content in sand silt content in sand is is done for each and source whenever we uh, um, brought sand from any source for each source we need to take this silt content test if the egg source explored between 501 to 1500 cubic meter take one graph sample at each 100 cubic meter and if the source explored between 1500 and above up to 5000 cubic meter then take one gross sample for each 200 cubic meter remember this this is as per um, is 2386 part 1 1963 and is 2386 part 4 1997 sieve analysis of aggregate aggregate crushing value flattenness index thickness test these are taken as per this frequency means for each source if the source is explored from 500 to 1500 cubic meter one gross sample at each 100 cubic meter and if the source explored between 1500 cubic meter to 5000 cubic meter take one gross sample for each 200 cubic meter for bricks for bricks visual check visual check is done for every 20 number of bricks selected from the truck sort uh, tractor whatever um, that is 6 to 7 bricks from each and every trolley or tractor dimension check same 20 number of bricks to be selected from truck sort that is 6 to 7 bricks from each tra- tractor or truck water absorption water absorption is done for each source for random three numbers to be tested from 20 numbers of bricks at selected from 
refresh the strength. See, for each source, random three numbers to be tested or 20 numbers of weeks and selected. This is done as per IS 5454-1978. Plaster. For plaster, we have to check mortar cubes to be taken every day. So whatever daily we do plastering work, for that daily work, we have to take mortar cubes. For cement, that is fineness modular standard consistency setting time, compressive strength and soundness test. Manufacturer state certificate or, or um, certain laboratories required as well as for each batch received at site, we need to do fineness of cement standard consistency setting time, compressive strength and soundness test. Every batch we receive at site. When we receive cement as 200 bags, 400 bags, 500 bags, whatever, or in bulk also. This is as per IS 353-1986, IS 4031-1999, part 2, 1995, IS 4031, IS 4, part 4, IS 4031-2000, part 5, IS 4031-2000, part 6, IS 4031, part 3, 2000. And now reinforcement steel. For reinforcement steel, rolling margin. First we see rolling margin. Rolling margin for bar diameter is less than 10 meter. One sample of each bar. One sample of each bar from 25 tons. One sample from each 25 tons or, or part thereof. And for bar diameter, uh, 10 meter to 10 millimeter to 16 millimeter one sample from each 35 ton or part there just uh, remember one thing lesser than 10 meter one sample from 25 tons and um, uh, from 10 mm to 16 mm one sample from 35 ton or part there for diameter diameter above 16 mm one sample from each 45 ton or part there for 16 mm one sample from each 45 ton and one sample consists of three number of bars for at least 0.5 meter to 1 meter length. One sample consists of at least three numbers of bars from at least 0.5 meter to 1 meter length. This is as per IS 1786-1985. Tensile test, elongation test, bend rebend test. This, for this also manufacturing test certificate or test report from outside laboratories required. For each lot, for these tests, for each lot at site, at least 50 metric ton, one sample. For every 50 metric ton, one sample is required. Mechanical coupler. Whenever you use couplers for labs, then there is also test, pull out test, chemical analysis. There are also manufacturing tests that is required. A test report from outside laboratory for this pull out test and chemical analysis 0.5% of project quantity and 0.25% of project quantity means for pull out test 0.5% of project quantity 0.5% of total scufflers required for the project and for chemical analysis 0.25% of the total scufflers are required for that project Structural steel, it is a rolling margin. It's one sample of each 20 metric ton part there. It's for structural steel, for rolling margin test, we need one sample of for each 20 metric ton structural steel. For tensile test, elongation, when ribbon test, it is for IS 2062 1992. For admixture to be tested every change of source. Whenever we change source of admixture, we have to test. It is as per IS 91031999. For water, to be tested for every change in source and monthly in monsoon. It is as per IS 456-2000. For calibration of test equipment, as per frequency setting, vendor's manual. 
for calibration we have to check is as per frequency set in vendors man manual now we check for concrete tests that is slum cone test compressive strength frequency for each concrete cube test for cube samples for shall be taken from each grade of concrete by following daily concrete quantity slum cone is uh, 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 taken slum test is taken for each source of concrete whenever a mixer or miller is um, come through mixer or miller we have to take slum test of that each source of concrete and for uh, compressive strength we have to take take the cubes cube samples that cube samples are taken as per quantity following daily concrete for example for uh, quantity 1 to 5 cubic meter one sample one number is taken for 6 to 15 it is two samples taken for 16 to 30 cubic meter three samples are taken uh, for 31 to 50 four samples are taken uh, for 51 and above four plus additional for every 50 cubic meter one sample is taken one sample here is six number of cubes please remember this thing that for one sample six number of cubes are uh, considered for one sample every power consist 12 number of cubes there are 3 15 28 35 pages of columns and 3 each of 5 15 28 35 pages of slabs standard deviation to be taken every month the frequency is to maintain for initial period if consistent results are obtained it may be reduced as per engineer in charge decision now consider this whenever we uh, concrete uh, we purchase or we buy concrete from rmc or other sources or from our own batching plant also we have to take a slum test first then for compressive strength as mentioned this is per cubic meter one sample means 1.1 to 5 one sample 6 to 10 to sample 16 to 33 samples 31 to 50 four samples 50 and and above four plus additional uh, one sample per uh, 50 cubic meter this is as per is 456 2000 is 1199 is 1999 is 516199 now we will check the frequency of calibration of equipment this is we see the name of equipment elements of calibration calibration is in say frequency of calibration for total station it is yearly or change of site calibration is required it is done at site for leveling instrument it is also yearly or change of site it is done at site for measuring weights elements of calibration measuring capacity we have to check then our outside agency and frequency yearly or change of site for cube testing machine manually operated pressure or load gauge should be checked it is run by head office original office or our own uh, companies and it is done on yearly or change of site for oven thermometer is checked it is by hro and yearly change of site this is the main calibration these frequency are indicative in case of uh, intermediate deviations or repairs or immediate calibration shall be undertaken this is thus the uh, shown only indicative one if any damage or repair done we have to take calibration at that time so we have checked this frequency of this test so keep watching my videos please like share and subscribe my channel thank you